Hello guys and welcome back to another Tesla Giga Berlin news update. Now Tesla's attractiveness as an employer is still controversial. As uh, we all know Tesla is short of around 5,000 employees in their Giga factory. Hello guys, now if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and clicking the like button. And uh, yeah, if you are a regular, welcome back. Now Tesla is short of numerous employees for the factory under construction in Grindhard at the Giga Berlin. And of course, according to the CEO Elon Musk, this has nothing to do with his leadership style. Now it is eight months before the planned start of production at the Giga Berlin uh, site. And of course, Tesla is still short of around 5,000 employees. Now, according to information from company circles in the Automobile Wash, uh, from the people at Automobile Wash, only 2,000 of the 7,000 positions required for the start are already filled. And of course, in addition, Tesla still has to hire hundreds of engineers. Now, on the Tesla website, uh, there are currently 304 vacancies for the Grindhard um, as of uh, today. Uh, as of I was making this video and these vacancies are for engineers and and, and other job uh, opportunities so it does seem as um, Tesla has not yet fulfilled uh, the has not yet fulfilled the uh, employment of all the 7,000 people they wanted to hire they've just hired 2,000 so far and I think it's just a matter of um, finding the right candidates for the jobs and not rather um, a failure of uh, candidates to to show up for the jobs but uh, yeah i'll definitely keep an eye on this story and i'll bring it to you once i get anything uh, tangible but that's what i have for you um 2000 have already been hired but apparently 5000 are still short and tesla is still looking for people to hire at the giga berlin now moving on now, if you all remember, in the summer, a court actually ruled that Tesla may no longer use the term autopilot to advertise its assistance system, but the judgment is not yet final, as you all know, but Tesla uses the term autopilot for its assistance system, which enables automated driving within certain limits. Now, the Central Office for Combating Unfair Competition has actually considered, in Germany, has actually considered the term to be misleading because it gives the impression that the cars can drive without human intervention. And uh, the Munich Regional Court actually upheld the lawsuit in the summer and forbade Tesla to continue using the name. But however, uh, as you all know, the verdict is not yet final because Tesla has appealed and uh, it will be a while before the appeal hearing takes place. Now, as a report from the World Amsonta, uh, pardon me if I mentioned uh, the name incorrectly, but uh, as the report said, the higher regional court does not want to negotiate the appeal until the beginning of October 2021. And of course, even that date could be postponed again. So until then, uh, Tesla will continue to use the term autopilot. But of course, in the in the Tesla website, is it uh, definitely says that uh, the system relieves you while driving and the autonomous operation is not possible with it. So that is their description of that story. I think it's a good enough explanation uh, for the autopilot or the full, for the FSD, for the full self-driving of Tesla. And um, yeah, that is what we have for you. Uh, any progress concerning this court case we will definitely bring it to you thank you very much for watching um let me know what you think about these stories in the comment sections below and uh yeah until the next tesla giga berlin update bye, -bye. now if you all remember in the summer a court actually ruled that tesla may no longer use the term autopilot to advertise its assistance system but the judgment is not yet final as you all know but Tesla uses the term autopilot for its assistant system, which enables automated driving within certain limits. Now, the Central Office for Combating Unfair Competition has actually considered, in Germany, has actually considered the term to be misleading because it gives the impression that the cars can drive without human intervention. 
and uh, the Munich Regional Court actually upheld the lawsuit in the summer and forbade Tesla to continue using the name. But however, uh, as you all know, the verdict is not yet final because Tesla has appealed and uh, it will be a while before the appeal hearing takes place. Now, as a report from the World Amsonta, uh, pardon me if I mentioned uh, the name incorrectly, but uh, as the report said, the higher regional court does not want to negotiate the appeal until the beginning of October 2021. But, and of course, even that date could be postponed again. So until then, uh, Tesla will continue to use the term autopilot. But of course, in the in the Tesla website, is it uh, definitely says that uh, the system relieves you while driving and autonomous operation is not possible with it so that is their description of that story i think it's a good enough explanation uh, for the autopilot or the full for the fsd for the full self-driving of tesla and um yeah that is what we have for you uh any progress concerning this court case we will definitely bring it to you thank you very much for watching um let me know what you think about these stories in the comment sections below and uh yeah until the next tesla giga berlin update bye, -bye.